This is uh, one of the two sacrificial uh, tomatoes to get uh, hornworms, so I check it closely every day. You can see by this stem that something has been eating on it. Here's another stem that nothing's fooling with, and you can see what it looks like. So some little creature's eating on this, which would be like a hornworm. But if it was eating on that, it would drop fresh. Its waste product would drop right on the leaves. And there's some little insects on here, little teeny gnats. But there's no fresh, so I'm going to keep a close eye on this plant. But I tend to think something, ha I know something's eating it. It's part of a leaf going. And this, these two little stems are going. You need to pay attention to your plants to catch the hornworms when they're small. They're awful hard to find because they're hard to find when they're two or three inches long. So anyway, you need to check all the tops of your plants because they eat the tenderest foliage and that's where it is. And that's generally where you see the damage. So if you just sort of stare at it, you need to look at the leaves just to make sure you don't see the little black dots that they excrete as they eat. And if you see those dots on the leaves, you have a hornworm in your plant somewhere. They don't move. They'll eat everything off of one branch and then move slowly to another one. But they don't move from one part of your tomato plant to the other in a very short time. Mostly they probably live on one whole branch the whole year before they die. Or move on and become another moth. There was a cardinal. See my black uh, sunflower seed? Back this thing up. I put that black sunflower seed container up there, and it's a little pewter type thing. It's got short perches on it, so the big birds, it's more difficult for them to get it. And that's black sunflower seeds. A little while ago, I wish I had the camera because a big old male landed right on that pole, one of those posts out there in the middle of the first row, and he was staring at those plants. And I know what he's looking for, and that is tomato hornworms, but they're not here yet. But I've got a pair in the garden, just because I hung out that black sunflower seed holder. You need to think about it, man. It's just a few seeds and a, and a uh, feeder tube. But if they're in your garden looking for this seed, and you've got all these tomato plants, I can tell you one little secret. They can get those hornworms and pull them out of there and you can't even see them. And you'll know they're in there because the whole bush will start shaking. The whole plant. And you don't know what's in there. It's like a big animal's in there. And all of a sudden he'll come out, get on top of one of the branches up on top of the pole and he's got a big hornworm in his mouth. And off he goes. At least I've got one pair in here. And that's how it works, folks. This is your basic little uh, tube feeder. This slides up, pivots over for you to fill it. And just put it on a little hook. I don't fill it up all the way because the big birds will come in here and eat these. And I want the cardinals in here. And uh, these perches are, are a little too long even for a cardinal to be on. If I wanted to, I'd cut those down a little bit. And just the cardinals type birds could eat it. But cardinals love black sunflower seeds and that's the kind of feeder you need to have out here so they can pick up the sunflower seeds and be in your garden and they'll go over there and look out for things to eat in your tomato patch.